I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand what are coterminal angles. Now by definition coterminal angles are angles which when drawn in standard position have same terminal arm. So let me write it down. So the angles which when drawn in standard position has same terminal arm. So those angles are coterminal angles. Now the point is how can you get uh, the same position of terminal arms, right? So we'll take two different examples here. Uh, how do you get same terminal arms? That is the question. So let's consider one angle here and let us say this is one angle it's somewhere there, right? Now in the first case let us say that the angle here is, is let's take a number to be easy for us let us take a number as 50 degrees for example. In that case if I have another angle which is having the same terminal arm it could be it could be this angle right. I mean one full circle plus 50 correct that could be there even another angle where I could go two circles right I could go two circles and come back to this position. So the angles which will be like 50 plus 360 degrees right or 50 plus 2 times 360 let me say two circles right 360 degrees or 50 plus n times or any number of circles we could draw. Is it okay? All will terminate at the same position and therefore they are called coterminal angles. I hope that is clear, right? Now let's take another example. This time let me take this angle in radians. And let's say this is 6 uh, pi by 6. Let me take this angle as 7 pi by 6. So we have an angle here. Now what could be the coterminal angles for this? Now coterminal angle for this could be one full circle plus this, is that okay? So we get 7 pi by 6 plus 2 pi or it could be after two circles that is 7 pi by 6 plus 4 pi or it could be any number of circles, right? 7 pi by 6 plus n pi where n is any integer. Correct? So these are all coterminal angles. Now there is another way of reaching to the same terminal arm and that is you could go in the negative direction, right? So let me give another example here. So let us say we have an angle which is which is here. And I have to find coterminal angles for this angle. Let me take this angle as just a general angle, right? So let's say this angle is theta. So we are saying a principal angle of theta find coterminal angles. So we could say well it could be this could be a coterminal angle. I can go in this direction right. So negative that means that means what? How much is this angle? This angle is theta minus 360 degrees correct. If you are doing in radians it will be theta minus 2 pi radians correct. So let me draw a line now here giving you both type of examples, correct? So degrees or it radians. So we could go clockwise and reach at the terminal arm. So theta minus 720 degrees or theta minus 4 pi will be what? Will be the angle which will reach after one circle like, like this. Do you see that? That is coterminal. Terminal arm is going to match which you could write as theta minus 720 or theta minus 4 pi full two circles since the ang angle is going clockwise they have the negative sign. Do you get the idea? So that is how you can find coterminal angles. right? 
So in general, what we can say is when you place the angle in standard position, as you understand, what is standard position? Standard position means the initial arm is along the positive x-axis, right? And then the terminal arm is there. Vertex is at origin, right? That is standard position, right? So when you place the angles in standard position, then their terminal arms match. If the terminal uh, arms coincide, they are called co-terminal angles. I hope the point is clear and you understand the concept. So as an example, you can do, I mean the practice test, you can do, question for you is, if the angle is pi by 3, find three terminal angles, co-terminal angles, or if the angle is, let us say, 30 degrees, find co-terminal angles, right? So 30 degrees, it could be 30 plus 360, which is 390 degrees, right? It could be we could reach 30 from the other side, so there's minus 330 degrees, for example. And you can add 360 degrees to these, correct? And you'll get so many co-terminal angles. For pi by 3, we could find an angle, let's say pi by 3 is kind of here, right? So you could reach here from the other side, which will be minus, so there are three divisions here, three here. So minus 5 pi by 3 could be a co-terminal angle, correct? Or we could add 2 pi to it. That means pi by 3 plus 2 pi, which will be equal to 3 times 2 is 6, 7 pi by 3, for example, right? 7 pi by 3 could be a co-terminal angle, right? So I've given you two co-terminal angles for the given angles. As an exercise, you can write two more, correct? Basically, you have to add or subtract multiples of full circle to get co-terminal angle. If you're doing in degrees, add and subtract 360. So let me write down here, plus minus. So if theta is your angle, do plus minus 360 degrees times k, where k is or n, where k or n is an integer. Or you could do theta plus or minus 2 right n pi or 2 k pi let me write since I used k here this time where k belongs to integers. So in general you can add or subtract one full circle. One full circle means 360 in degrees and 2 pi in radius. That should give you co-terminal angle for any given angle. I hope that helps you to understand. Thank you and all the best.